Hey everybody, this is your drawing teacher, Mark Lewis Wagner, and uh, we've got class starting tomorrow or today is um, at Chabot, through Chabot, so I want to thank everybody for being here. This is the first time I've done the asynchronized class, so it'll be a little strange, so give me a little bit of a break here. And uh, so this whole thing of communicating to you guys and girls and, and thems and days and then um, me trying to, one of my goals is to see how, I, how well I can connect you to each other and to the class and to me. So um, I'm going to be shooting a bunch of videos over time. I'll be in different environments. I'm actually all over the place. Um, this semester I could be in Oregon, I could be in California, and I could be in New Mexico, and I could even be in Utah. So that's one of the cool things about um, online teaching, for, at least from my point of view. So I'm grateful. Um, I've shared some stuff in my syllabus, and you can see some of my stuff online. Uh, I have been teaching at Chabot. I started in 2010, and then um, the school almost lost the art department there for a while, so they let go of all adjunct faculty. That's what I am. I'm adjunct part-time. That's what I want to be. And then um, I probably started teaching in 2015, maybe, 14, and I teach painting, drawing, color, 2D foundations, and Photoshop. And I uh, have loved it. I've really loved it a lot. Um, my studio mate in Oakland is Professor Theol. He's the guy who really got me the class project of teaching there. So we shot a video recently of a studio tour. So in the next week or two, I will post that, and you can see us, and you can see where you know what our studio has been like and things like that. So um, this semester is a drawing class. One of the first things we're going to do is talk about sketchbooks, and sketchbooks. Um, the intro is to get your supplies, and then there's another video that I posted about supplies, and then uh, I'm going to do a little quick demo on sketchbooks and um, on how to kind of break them in and get them. This is my favorite size of sketchbook because it actually fits into the back of my pants so that I can go to the movie theater or go to a restaurant or like when I had kids I would just carry my sketchbook with me all the time. And the moment we sat down in the restaurant, I pulled my sketchbook out and the kids and I would draw and do, uh, you know, hang man. And so a lot, a lot of my other sketchbooks, you can see it's like, oh, he, he was a dad then. My kids are now 22, 25, uh, two girls, great, great, great people. So um, I, I'm gonna do a little talk about sketchbooks. We're gonna be using sketchbooks the whole class. And actually we're using our sketchbooks every day. So. This is, this is our main tool. Um, the, the project that we're going to start off with is that you're going to be drawing one drawing a day for the rest of the semester. And it, it gonna, it's going to go back and forth between an imagined drawing, that means you make up something, it's a doodle, it's a design, and then the next day you're going to draw something real. You're literally going to pick something up, put it on the table, and you're going to draw it. And these are 10, 15 minute drawings. Um, you can draw several, but it's about that amount of time. And um, there's a whole thing in the art world is if you wanna get better really at anything, there's this thing called the 10,000 hours or we're gonna call it the 10,000 drawing. So if you actually would say, say to yourself, like I actually want to become a better drawer. Well, it's just simply do 10,000 drawings and uh, you'll be a much better drawer. <laughs> so, Let's see what else do I want to say about class. We're going to be emailing each other back and forth. We're going to do discussion groups with each other, um, which I have not done before in Canvas. So that, that's my cutting edge, my learning tool. And it um, should be good. I'm excited about it. Um, I just have a good feeling. I love art. I love teaching. Um, so this is just an extension of everything. If, if you guys, girls, people, them, all, all of that non-binary, um, if, if anything shows up, talk to me, um, email me, um, everybody's confused, everybody's anxious in the beginning of class, so I'm here to support you, and then the school's got excellent, excellent support on a whole bunch of levels. So um, let's do, a, I'm gonna do a little demo on a, on a sketchbook. <clears throat> okay, this is our, um, the sketchbook first piece. Now, 
my sketchbooks are have painted covers, so imagine your sketchbook's actually going to be black. It's probably decorated. Um, imagine yours is black, and if you have one like this, you might have one like this. That's fine. These are how I, these are my writing journals. I just decorate everything, and we, we're not we don't have colored paint in this class, but if you do, it's great to put some type of paint or something collage something on your sketchbook, make it personal. So. Um, I decorate these because these are also one of the things that I sell. There's a quote in the art world which is have hats for sale, which means it's great to sell a painting for $20,000 if you can do that, you know, once in your lifetime. But it's also great to have something that you can sell for $20, you can sell often. So I buy these blank books for five bucks uh, online from Blick Art, and then I decorate them and then I sell them for 20 bucks. So that's that's my way to have a little little pieces of something. So you always want to be thinking if I don't know what you're doing with this class. If you're gonna if you're just taking it because you have to, or you want to become a better drawer or whatever. Um, but I'm always going to be talking about professional things, making money. How do you do that, etc. So so imagine this is just a blank sketchbook. What you want to do? There's this thing which I'm going to call break the spine. So if you have uh, I've been trained a little bit in book binding and book bindings that there's there's one two three four five six seven different folds there are sets of folds that are in this sketchbook and then they're stitched and so if you ever happen to look at a book or are interested in um, you can see these stitchings in it and so if you were going to make one of these yourselves you would take this amount of paper and you would fold it in half and then you would put, put holes in it and you would thread in, out, in, out. You'd thread back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then you'd do that a bunch of times. And so then you get those together, you mount them on something else. This is actually cardboard. And uh, one of the sheets gets glued onto the cardboard after it's folded. And, uh, and this is how you get your sketchbook. And it gives it, it, gives it a, a spine, they call it so that this can open up and that this can kind of breathe and have air to it. Um, so what we're going to do, book binding wise, we're going to break the spine, they call it. So you want to put your sketchbook like this. And I, and I always like to hold my sketchbook or in class, I say, put your sketchbook to your heart, tap it on your head. You know, you're actually going to make this thing an extension of yourself. So you know, just imagine that you actually put a little bit of love in there. So, you know, connect to connect to something here where we're giving it a creative blessing. Um, so then you're going to open it up and uh, then you want to break the spine which is you kind of giving it uh, a massage and you pull some of the paper down and you pull the line down you pull some of the paper on the other side and you just push down you just push it down so you're, you're giving it a massage <laughs> Chiro chiropractic adjustment right so this is this is as then you work on your book over time that it's already stretched out a little bit. And if you're doing collage or if you we're going to be we're going to be painting, you're using ink in these things and watercolors in these things. It just gives it a little bit of a better break. So that's that's the breaking it up. Then what I like to do is um, gonna we're gonna initiate it or begin it. And the way that I do something is that I always do a circle and a dot. And I'll just tell you about this for me personally, is that I've been doing this symbol forever. For, for years and years and years I would do this. And it always felt like, now I do it in the sense of like, this is the new beginning of something. So I put a circle and a dot and I basically say, I am here now. Um, I also, this is, this is a secret, I also sign um, I'm going to sign it upside down. If I sign a check, right, I sign my name and I put a circle and a dot. And what that is, is I'm just saying thank you to the world. Uh, I'm saying thank you and thank you for money coming into my life or going out of my life. So it's, it's, it's uh, mon money uh, if I'm writing a check to someone or if I'm signing a check on the back of the check after I sign my name. I just do this little symbol and I say, it's, it's a thank you. So that's just something that I, as a symbolist, that means that us, a lot of us artists, is that we, we understand that there's other ways to communicate other than words. 
um, I call myself mostly pre-verbal at times. So, um, so, so I'm just going to do that in this. So I would do this. You can do anything you want, but instead of just starting to put information here, like normal books don't have that. Normal books always have some space to kind of get into something. It's kind of like you, you step into something. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do something like that, you can do anything you want, and then uh, put some information in the book over here. So like, you know, how how does it get to you? So if you lose this book, um, what information here has it come back to you? And what I also do is I date it. You know, put the date on. I sometimes I even like where am I? Um, and so then also when I finish the sketchbook too. I will also put the date back here so then I can go through any of my sketchbooks and I can always see when they start and when they stop. So that's, that's going to be how we're going to start our sketchbooks.